Hello, this is Professor Kim, and today I'm going to do another type of percent word problems. These are the basic percentage word problems where in some classes you might have been told um, part over whole or um, portion over base. Uh, there are multiple ways to do this. I just prefer to use proportions because my students like proportions. So to explain how we'll work the problems is I'll put percent over 100 and then equals the part over the whole. The whole is also the total amount. Okay. So the percent always goes over the 100 because percent means out of 100. You do not need to change it. If it says 45%, you just put the 45 over 100. The number that goes with the total amount or the whole goes on the bottom. And the number that the percent is referring to goes on the top. Okay, for a quick example, if it said um, you're going to save 20% on something that costs $200, um, the percent would always go over 100. Um, the other thing to mention is if you're going to save 20%, then the number over here on the top is also how this is what you'll save. Um, if this percentage was how much weight the percent of how much he lost, then over here would be the top number would be how much he lost. Those numbers are related to each other. Um, then the last step is a proportion. So you're going to cross, multiply, then divide. You're going to multiply the two numbers that are diagonal from each other, hit equals in between, and then divide by the other number. So 7 times 62 hit equals divided by 7. And I got 60. Oops. I must have done something wrong. Hold on. 62 times 7 equals divided by 100. My apologies. And I got 4.34. Okay. So I've already set these up. So I won't have to spend the time doing it. So I'm just going to go into working them. In a science class, 85% of the students pass the class. Um, if there were 40 people in the class, how many passed? Okay. So the percent always goes over 100. So 85%. Also, this 85 represents how many passed. So this number on top will also be how many passed. Okay. The other information we have is that we, there are 40 people in the class. That is the whole or the total amount. So that goes on the bottom. How many people passed is what you're looking for. That's on top. Then you'll do the cross, multiply, divide. The two numbers that are diagonal divided by the other. So 85 times 40 equals divided by 100. And I get 34 people passed. Um, if you just put passed, that would be accepted as well. Nope, two S's. So the next one, 385 defective alcohol swabs were produced during a day. If 4% of the alcohol swabs produced were defective, how many alcohol swabs were produced in all? Okay, so the four always goes over the 100. The, sorry, the percent always goes over 100. So the four. And then I know 385 defective alcohol swabs. Is that the part or is that the whole? Okay, this is the part. Um, two ways to realize it. It says 4% of those swabs are defective. Okay, 4% are defective. And then, so this means the top number has to be how much are defective. So in the question, in this question, it said 385 defective alcohol swabs. So that goes on top. The other part that might help is it says how many alcohol swabs were produced in all. That is the whole or the total. Okay. So you're going to cross, multiply, divide. Let me change the color. So this time you're going to multiply the two numbers that are diagonal. So the 385 times 100, it equals divided by 4. And you get 9,625 swabs. Okay. The next one, of the 8,700, sorry, 8,076 America, Americans serving in the Peace Corps for a recent year, 406 of them were over 50 years old. What percent is this? Okay. So we know two things. We're looking, it says, what percent is this? So what I'm looking for, so that's my variable. It goes on top. 
And it says of the 8,076 Americas serving in the Peace Corps, 406 were over 50 years old. So the total or whole amount is the 8,076. And the part that it's referring to, that percent is over 50 years old. Then you will uh, cross multiply divide the two numbers that are diagonal and then divide by the other. So I got 406 times 100 divided by 8,076. And I've got 5.027. And it says round to a whole percent. So round to a whole number. Zero makes the five stay the same. And for a unit, a percent sign is acceptable. Okay. Now I'm going to do three more. And these are the ones you have to be careful of because there's extra steps involved. Okay. So the first one, Mrs. Wright was receiving 300 milligrams of her medication. The doctor decided to increase her dosage by, let's see, increase her dosage by 35% at her last visit. What will be her new dose? And she was receiving 300 milligrams. So the percent always goes over 100. So 35% is what they're increasing the dosage by. She was receiving 300 milligrams. That is the total amount of her medication. And the top number is what they're going to increase it by. Then you're going to cross multiply divide. So 35, let's see, 35 times 300 divided by 100. And I got 105 milligrams, but this is not the final answer. This is what they're increasing it by. So it wants to know what is her new dose. So you're going to add this to her original number of 300 to get 405 milligrams as her new dose. Okay. Um, the next one, uh, patient lost 6% of his body weight since his last appointment. So 6%. Uh, medical records show that the patient's weight was 205 pounds. How many pounds did the patient lose since his appointment? My apologies. Um, you did. This is not a second step. Uh, I thought I changed the wording. This is a single step. So he lost 6% of his body weight. And I'll explain why in a second. So 6% of his body weight, the percent always goes over 100. And the total amount of his weight was 205. And you're looking for how much he lost. Okay. So these will be the pounds that he lost. Then you're going to cross multiply and divide. So six, whoops, six times 205 equals divided by 100 equals, and I've got 12.3 pounds. This is how many pounds that he lost. That's what the question asked. If for any reason, though, they asked what is his new weight, which is what I thought I changed the wording to, if they asked what his new weight was, well, he lost this amount of weight. He was 205 pounds. And if he lost 12.3, then the, if it asked how much is his new is his new weight, 192.7 pounds. Um, again, that's percent is notorious for a second step. Okay, for this last one, there's a couple things to do. So it says a resort hotel charges. 5% uh, resort tax along with 6% sales tax. If the hotel's one night accommodation is 250, what will a guest pay for four nights, including tax? Okay. Um, the first thing you want to do is the easiest thing is to add these two percentages together. Okay. So the resort tax is 5%, sales tax is 6%. So they're going to charge you 11% of your sales tax. So I'll just go ahead and put that over 100. The other thing is it's one night is $250, but this person is going to stay for four nights. So the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and figure out how much it'll cost for our full, all, all four nights. So 250 times four gives me 1,000. So it'll cost $1,000 for all four nights. Okay, so now let's find out how much the tax is. It's 11% is the tax. So this number will be the tax. And it's on $1,000. 
Okay, so you're going to cross multiply divide. 1,000 times 11. 1,000 times, oops. 11 times 1,000. There we go. Okay, uh, equals divided by 100. And I got $110. Let me just double check. Sounds right. Okay, $110 is the tax. Now, you're, if it asks you what is the tax, this is done, but it didn't. It says, what will he pay? Okay, so since it says, what will he pay? He's going to pay the $1,100 for the tax plus the $1,000 for the stay. So that looks like it's $1,110. Um, just double check. There we go. Okay, so that's the total he'll pay for the whole stay. And I hope that helps.